Hello beautiful beings, what is up? My name is Jeanette, also known as Misfit Vegan. And I wanted to talk to you guys about the amazing benefits of sticking to your word. What you don't understand is, is that your entire life is determined by whether you can do what you said you were going to do. Okay, so I sent out an email yesterday to everybody on my newsletter and I wrote, did you do what you said you were going to do today? Okay, because if not, then guess what? You're not one day closer to your goal. That's number one. But number two, even more detrimental, you actually are in the negative. Because if you cannot trust yourself, you can't trust anyone. If you cannot trust yourself, you can't get anywhere. Why do you think your relationships are all fucked up? Why do you think you're not having a good time at work or you're not thriving in life, in your health, in your relationships, in your job, in your career, in your goals? It's all because you can't trust yourself. Now, there might be some people out there watching that can trust themselves. There might be some people, okay? So leave it down below if you 100% trust yourself. Like you say you're gonna do something, you say you're gonna do something and then you actually do it. Every time. Write the words 100, write the 100% that if you are that person that you say you're gonna do something and you always fucking do it. Okay, so now I wanna walk and film, but there is someone shaking their ass in a professional photo shoot that is gonna think that I'm filming them, but I'm not, I'm just filming the beach. So I'm gonna walk, but it's gonna be very awkward. So what do I do, guys? Should I walk the other way? No, because I want to see this girl. <laughs> Tell me 100% if you keep your word to yourself. Okay, I can't. <laughs> I can't walk that way. I'm sorry, guys. It's just so funny. I can't do it. Um, I know you guys want to see it, and I will show you. I will zoom in when I'm further away, but, like, it's too much for me, personally. Okay, so um, <laughs> I don't want her to get... I don't, even though she probably won't care, I don't want her to get embarrassed that she's filming herself. Um, that, that she's, that I'm filming her. Sorry, I got distracted. So basically, everything, everything that is you want, the, the weight loss, the relationship, the money, the house, the cars, everything, it's going to come, the, the confidence, the discipline, the fortitude, the perseverance, everything is gonna come down to whether you can trust yourself or not, okay? So when you say you're gonna do something and you actually do it, you're voting for your new identity and you're voting for who you are, somebody you can trust. And if you trust yourself, then you're gonna to start to like yourself. When you like yourself, you're gonna to start to take better care of yourself. When you take better care of yourself, you're gonna be healthy as fuck. So understand me right now, the most important thing that you need to do today is learn how to trust yourself. Now, I am teaching you in my course, okay, so 10 lucky women are gonna get to work with me starting on Sunday, June 11th, all right? And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna teach them how to stick to what they said they were going to do, okay? I know you guys thought I was turning around to look at that girl, but now she's really far away. Okay, let me zoom in. You see what's going on here? But she was really shaking her ass, like, hardcore before. Anyway, when you do what you said you were going to do, you actually get the fucking results that you want. Now she's doing a regular photo shoot. But yo, the cameraman was in her ass, guys. Okay, let's focus. I know, you guys are like, let's move on, Jeanette. So anyway, <laughs> sorry, it was, you don't even know. I was actually doing a podcast, and I just, I could not. I could not do anything because the, the ass shaking that was going on was amazing. <laughs> it was just absolutely amazing. So, okay. Um, that's Miami though. So yeah, how to keep your word to yourself? Well, I'll give you a few pointers. 
Number one, you're gonna have to learn how to do things anyway. All right, you're gonna have to learn how to do things anyway. And honestly, it comes down to, there's a lot of things that go into it, but what it really comes down to is, there's so much. Sorry, I'm looking at the fireworks now. Wow, there's so much going on today. What it really comes down to, guys, is believing that's who you are, okay? You're never gonna work out if you don't believe that you're somebody who works out. Never, okay, ever. You're never gonna get healthy if, you're, if you believe you're somebody who cannot get healthy. Another thing, okay, so that's number two. Number three, it comes down to making it easy for yourself to succeed. You wanna start eating raw, you gotta buy a lot of fruit and vegetables, like more than you think. More than you think you need, I'm telling you. People don't understand. It's a lot simpler than you think, but you gotta have the food to eat because you're gonna get hungry and you're gonna need to eat more than you think. So like me, in the beginning, I struggled a lot because I didn't know how much to eat. I didn't know that I always needed frozen bananas in the freezer so that I could always have smoothies or nice cream or smoothie bowls. I didn't know that one bag of grapes is one meal. That bag of grapes is not gonna last a week. I see my clients and I see people buying food and it's like, you're not buying enough. They're never, if they're falling off, it's because they're never buying enough. And I tell them, okay, when you go to the store, it's a really good idea to buy 10 bunches of bananas. I know that sounds crazy, but you're probably gonna eat six or seven. I mean, I need you to eat like six or seven in a smoothie or an ice cream, six or seven bunches. And then the rest are the backup bananas that go in the freezer that stay there, okay? Like you have to buy enough. And if you're shopping once a week, it's gonna be a shit load. It's gonna be a lot, boo. So yeah, that's a few of the tips, but there's a lot more that goes into it because it's all about the mind, you know? We're playing a mind game. And if you don't believe it, there's nobody, oh wow, fireworks. There's nobody that can help you. I cannot help you, but I can help you believe it because you know, beliefs are just thoughts that you've had over and over and over again. So we're gonna have new thoughts and I'm gonna help you with those thoughts. Because right now, if you're overweight and you're not succeeding in life and you're miserable and you're getting things you don't want, you're getting a result you don't want, it's because you're thinking thoughts that turned into beliefs. And we gotta change that. You don't even understand. It's that simple, but it's, yet it's not simple, right? Like, how do we do that? Nobody teaches us how to have new thoughts. Well, it's simple as in, listen, I used to say a lot that there's no way that I can go a day without coffee, okay? I used to be addicted to coffee many, many, many moons ago. So I said to myself, I cannot live without coffee. That was like a mantra, I can't live without coffee. Same with chocolate. I cannot live without chocolate. I can't live without bread, okay? I can't live without... Bacon, oh my God, I love bacon, I love fried chicken, I love steak, I love, I loved sardines, I know that's weird, but I loved sardines, I loved salmon, I loved all the foods, Pop-Tarts, cookies, cakes, candies, everything, I would eat it all. I didn't discriminate, I ate it all. And I used to say to myself that there's no way I wanna live a life, I can't live a life without Nutella, without Frosted Flakes, that was my favorite breakfast cereal, like you know, and that was my mantra and that became my life. And now I say things like, I'm so happy and grateful now that I am healthy, happy and whole. I'm so happy and grateful now that I make, okay, you gotta you got see this. You see what I'm saying? Like absolutely amazing. <laughs> what kind of job does this guy have? I cannot, <laughs> I can't. I wish I could zoom in more. He is in her ass, like legit in, like in there. It's gotta be for OnlyFans, y'all. <sighs> I remember that life. I had an OnlyFans, but it was only like, it was fruity content. I never did stuff like that. Like, whoa. <laughs> I did like fruit pictures and stuff, like slutty fruit pictures, but like I wasn't naked. Like I, I wasn't doing twerking, especially cause I don't know how, you know what I mean? Maybe if I knew how to twerk, with fruit on my butt, I could do it, but I don't know how. So anyway, um, and that leads me to my last point, okay? This video is long enough. My last point is you don't know how to do it because you haven't done it before. So just like twerking, 
You might not know how to do it because you've never done it before. Guess what? You might not know how to be raw because you've never done it before. She's still going, y'all. She's still going. Mm-hmm. Yup. And, and, and she busted wide open, too. I saw there was one. Look, you see? She busted it wide open. So basically, I saw her spreading her cheeks and doing, um, spreading her cheeks and doing, uh, the, you know, twerking, I guess what you kids call it. Like, she was spreading her fucking cheeks with her hand and twerking. And I was like, yo, this is definitely OnlyFans shit. This is not for some reels, okay? Let me tell you. But anyway, yep, she's still doing it. <laughs> uh, more power to you, boo. More power to you. That's how you make shmoney. Not for me, but hey, I'm not going to judge her because I don't want her to judge me. So, um, yeah, like every single I can't is just an I haven't. And I want you to meditate on that, okay? Because your, your meditations, they become your manifestations, all right? You, uh, you need to understand that you just, you haven't been successful on a raw vegan diet. It doesn't mean you can't. It just means you don't know how to yet. Boo, if you're afraid to be a beginner, you're never going to start. You're never going to get to the finish line. You're never going to lose that weight. Oh, sh this girl's amazing. Okay, sorry. She's, she distracted me. I love you guys so much. I'm going to walk past her now, but not with the camera. I love you guys. Please listen to this video again. It's, there's a lot of stuff that we need to unlearn, and especially the false beliefs, the lies that you've told yourself, that you will always be overweight, that you will always be sick, that you'll always be addicted to pasta, bread, cookies, candy, coffee, whatever it is. Stop telling yourself this story that's a lie. It's a lie. It's an old fucking story that you don't need anymore. So please stop. I love you. Please love yourself enough to tell yourself a different story. Okay? Before I ever, before I ever made money working for myself, working online, helping people for a living, I said over and over and over again, I am so happy and grateful now that I help people for a living. I said this for years. Okay? I am so happy and grateful. So like anything in your life, start saying that. I am so happy and grateful now that I... And it's going to sound crazy, but guess what? Stick to it. Because it just recently, I proved it to myself just recently that I didn't even know the power of my own voice, which is, I was saying, still, as a raw vegan, I was saying, I was saying, oh, I can never sleep. I can't sleep. No matter what I do, I can't sleep. I'm a very light sleeper. I can't sleep, right? I was just repeating this over and over and over, this mantra. And then recently, I was like, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm teaching people to stop saying these things that they don't want to be true. Why do I keep saying that my whole life? I have insomnia. I can't sleep no matter what, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So guess what I started doing? I am so happy and grateful now that I sleep straight through the night. I easily fall, as fall asleep and I wake up feeling energized and refreshed. And guess what? I don't have sleep problems anymore. Your words are spells that are taking over your life. Watch your fucking words, boo. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have to end with her, y'all. I have to. Yo, her ass is a fucking national treasure. Y'all, I cannot.